Cześć, cześć and welcome to very first episode on this channel. You are watching this video, so I'm sure you want to visit Poland soon and you have some concerns about your trip. This material will help you struggle and will save the time you would have to spend on research. Watch until the very end to make sure you don't miss anything, because each of these points could be extremely important. And explore the Poland in Polish way. 1. Geography Poland is located in Central Europe. The capital is Warszawa and the country is divided into 16 parts called województwa. Each województwo has a city that serves as the administrative center. Anyone will find something for themselves here. You can go to mountains or to the sea. You can find modern architecture or historical places. It's good if you want to spend time in cities, but you can always explore some white nature. You can fly to Poland and choose from one of 12 airports. But many of these airports are located far from the cities. If you plan to come by plane, remember to check your transfer options. 2. Language Polish is the official language and the native language of almost everyone in Poland. But Poland ranks very high on English proficiency index, so I believe you will be able to travel around the country if you know English. Most signs and information in tourist places like museum or hotels are translated into English, but you can also find translation into other languages like German, French and Spanish. Guided tours should be offered in wider range of languages. You can always use Google Lens to translate Polish texts. It works very well. In conversations, Google Translate can be very helpful. However, in this case, it's better to use the app Google Translate and not the translator function in Google Assistant. 3. Currency Poll is what is the only currency accepted in Poland. But I have good news. Card payments and contactless payments are the main ways to pay here. So in 95% of cases, you can just use your card, phone or watch. However, I recommend having some cash with you, just in case. But you must remember the widely accepted cards are these from Visa and Mastercard. If you have other card, it probably won't be commonly accepted. Also, when paying by card, you may be asked if you want to pay in Złote or another currency. Always pay in Złote. If you pay in another currency, you can be sure that the price will be much higher because the bank commission for converting your currency into Złote will be added. So probably you will only need cash on local marketplace stands. And in one more case, but I will cover that in point 9. 4. Time zone. Poland is in Central European time zone or in Central European summer time zone. Depending on the mouth, it can be cold or warm, and the day can be long or short. Winter is much colder, with temperature dropping below 0 degrees Celsius, while the summer is sunny and rather hot, around 25-35 degrees. The shortest day, in winter, lasts only 8 hours, and the longest day, in summer, lasts for up to 17 hours. 5. Days off On Sunday, almost all shops in Poland are closed, with a few exceptions, such as small groceries, souvenir shop, petrol stations, airport or railway station shops, but in general the majority of shops are closed. You can go to restaurants, cinema museums, etc., but shops are closed. Another important day for you may be Monday. The majority of the museums are closed on Monday, so if you plan a museum tour, book it for another day. Also, some restaurants may be closed on that day to give a day off to its employee after a working weekend. During bank holidays, almost everything is closed, so if you plan to visit Poland on one of these days, you can expect some difficulties. If you are not sure if the place you want to visit is open, you can use the app mentioned in the next tip. 6. Google Maps is your great friend. The majority of the places have their business card there, so within the app you can easily check opening hours, other people's opinions, menus, photos of dishes, etc. So I strongly encourage you to use Google Maps to plan your stay in Poland. It can also help you if you move around the country on foot or by car. When I travel around the country, I always use Google Maps, which works perfectly. 7. Buying tickets online You can easily buy or check the price of the tickets for many attractions, places and services online. Always check the places' websites. You will find them on Google Maps. If you want to buy a ticket for an intercity bus, it's the best to go to the following website. If you want to buy a ticket for an intercity train, Check this website. And a few years ago, trains weren't so convenient and fast, but today, for most cases, I definitely recommend traveling by train. If you are not sure what type of transport is the best to get from town to town, check it here. It also works very well for finding connection within the city, and you can also buy public transportation tickets for most Polish cities in the app. If you want to know more about Polish public transport, please let me know in the comment. 8. Electric plug. In Poland we use these plugs and sockets, so make sure you have supported plug or adapter. And the voltage is 230 volts. If you are coming to Poland from other continents, make sure your electrical devices work on this voltage. 9. Restaurants and tips. If you are in a restaurant with table service, you are expected to leave a 10% tip. If you are happy with the service, feel free to tip more. 
This is not included automatically in the bill, unless the money say otherwise, but it's standard to leave a 10% tip in cash. If you don't have cash, you can ask if they can add the tip to card payment, but cash is more than welcome. A tip is not required in other places, but the person to whom you give a tip will always be appreciated. So if you are pleased with the service, go ahead and leave a little extra cash, but don't feel obliged. 10. Pickpocketing Pickpocketing is not a big problem here, but as always when traveling, especially in crowded areas, stay safe, keep your belongings with you, and don't leave your luggage unsupervised. 11. Tap water You can drink tap water, but why? You can choose from a wide range of mineral waters rich in electrolytes. Poland has a lot of water springs and some of them are healing or medicinal. You can find mineral water from these springs in each store. For example, Krinsasdruy, a city known for its healing springs, is a popular spa and chill resort, where you can spend your healthy time and mineral water from there can be found in some larger shops across the country. But be cautious. These particular waters are extremely salty, not healthy.